going to go in here. I'm going to paste that, and it's the exact same thing, but this time in Go. Except that these actually don't work, so I shouldn't put them on this layout. Now here's what I do. So this is now the FileMaker Go one within my solution. Very cool, right? And the FileMaker Go works with editing a little bit differently. FileMaker Go actually pops up its own editing window because you can't run the plugin that pops open the window. So that just edited that, again, going to the server and back. The FileMaker Go example. The thing that I didn't mention in either one of these, and I want to now, the ability to filter these events, as it says on using the web, you can, with any of these options, you can use parameters to filter your events. That's the, that's the other way of filtering your events. And the way you do that, I'm back into my calendar data solution, and I'm looking at the new layout that I created, the way you do that is if you go into the definition for that web viewer, this is what it pasted in here for me. Name of the field followed by the value of the field that I'd like to filter by, and now it's going to filter my entire calendar by a particular field. So this is a very powerful way of filtering. 